My name is Sheresh Dufare, Technical Consultant for SolidWorks Electrical and PCB. So today we are going to see SolidWorks Circuitworks solution. So here now I am going to open eCAD file. These are the file import formats .emn.emp. So these are the files you can import in SolidWorks Circuitworks .brd format dot emn so these are the export export file format uh, of ecad tool so i just open that emn file here in options these are the settings related with the solidworks circuit works you can select the importers you can modify the settings related with the models features as well as you can modify the library match components you can match with the number or name so here uh, what we are going to do we are going to export uh, this informations so we are using first method replace part files with excel so i will open the library so this is the library for my emn file you can see uh, this is the default uh, uh, component shape in rectangular format so we are going to replace that uh, rectangular part file with the exact part file so for that i will go to the library options i will export uh, that files text file so for the time being i am just typing library data click save so now i just imported all information uh, related with the component name uh, component locations as well as the part file name uh, so this information I just export it in Excel format so let me open that Excel file you can see so this is the Excel file for that particular EMN file so what we can do uh, we can use that part file name uh, for new component let's say uh, this is my part name the first column and the third column is a location this is the default location of that particular component C program data SOLIDWORKS circuit works and components so what I will do I will modify this part name I will simply copy that part name and the same part name I'm going to assign to new part okay so randomly I'm just selecting uh, one part here let's say uh, okay just a minute let me copy it again okay so i just modified this information again i am going to import uh, to solidworks circuit works this excel file so once i import it it is showing me uh, that information that uh, some parts are modified okay now we are going to build the model We are generating the assembly file, sort of assembly file, through .emn file. So you can see uh, this is my sort of assembly file on uh, that particular PCB where the actual components are placed. So only for few components uh, I modified the Excel. So it is showing me the actual components. Even uh, we can uh, change the location from here. And we can again export it to .emn or .emp format. Okay, these are the part files I just downloaded uh, from SolidWorks Content Portal. That is 3D Content Portal. Okay. So you can see uh, this is a 3D Content Portal. Uh, from here, you can download any component electronics component you will get the informations about that particular component okay this file you can download and you can use it in uh, solidworks circuit works so here you can see the views
you will get the preview of in 2D also. Okay, now we'll move to the second method. So in that method, uh, we are going to select the component uh, by manually. We'll right click and replace. So for a few components also we can do like that. <coughs> Let's check about the second method. So same way, I'm going to select this particular component here. Let's say this is my component, I see four, I see one. So you can see initially it is showing the rectangular model. So I'm going to right click and associate model. So randomly I'm going to select uh, anyone, let's say SO, IC8, click OK. Again I'm going to build the model. Now you can see uh, that model is replaced by the SO IC8. So in this way, uh, you can modify the existing components through Excel as well as by manually selecting component and replacing the info, uh, replacing the part file. Okay, you can move the component, you can change the placement, as well as you can export it into uh, EMN EMP format. Let's say I'm ready with that model. And again, I will go to the export ECAD file. Here you can see. Here it is showing the export to CircuitWorks. So these are the exporting format uh, which I can use uh, to export IDF files dot brd dot idz emn emp there are so many export formats so this is all about the solidworks circuit works thank you